This is another bit of ultrasound with Z. This time, does this patient have hydronephrosis? In a patient with appropriate clinical suspicion, the presence of hydro pretty much confirms the diagnosis. To begin, remember that you will be scanning between the ribs which lie in an oblique plane much like the kidneys. You want to have your probe oriented in the same oblique plane in order to avoid rib shadows. Start in the lower rib area and slowly move the probe until you find a clear window that is not obscured by lung or bowel gas. Once you have a window, very slowly rotate, rock, and fan the probe until you find the kidney. Slowly fan through the kidney. This should be focused on the hyperechoic collecting system. You are looking for black anechoic areas which represent hydronephrosis or urine backing up into the collecting system. Usually this is not subtle. Hydro will always start centrally and expand from there. Don't be confused by prominent renal pyramids or renal cysts, which are typically located in the periphery. Also, don't be fooled by prominent renal vasculature, which will have flow on color Doppler, while hydro will not. Repeat the same thing on the other side, again paying attention to the oblique orientation. If you are having trouble finding the kidney on this side, move your probe more superior and posterior. You can look at the bladder with color Doppler for ureteral jets, but there isn't a lot of evidence to support this one way or another. Don't spend much time looking for stones themselves. It's the hydro that indicates acute renal colic, not the presence of a stone. Thank you.